Love Somebody, Yes I Do for Valentine's Day. Um, the first two measures and the last two measures you may leave off. The first two are an introduction. The last two are what's called a postlude. Um, you could start where the words start if you'd like. Um, we are in the key of C, and on your paper, the very last sung note is your do, and it's marked. It says do equals C. So that's middle C, which happens to be on a line. So if do is on a line, then me is on a line, then so is on a line. If you look at the very first measure of your song, where the first words are, you have do, me, so, so. And then, yes, I do. Hmm. It's a note on a space, so it can't be do. It must be re. Re, mi, fa. The next measure, it's written so that love somebody is in the left hand. It's still do, mi, so, so. You can play it in the left hand or the right hand. I do not care which way you play it. So you can play, do, mi, so, so. Yes, I do. It's backwards of the yes, I do on the first line. So instead of re, mi, fa, it's a, mi, re. And then the next part, love somebody, yes, I do, is exactly like the first line. And then on the last line, your first note is on a line. So that means it either has to be a do, a mi, or a so. Which one is it? Now, if you're going to play it, this is easy to play with both hands. But just use the chords in the left hand. And I've written the chord numbers on there. You'll see a, a one or a large, looks like a large I, a Roman numeral one for one chord. And a 5-7, it looks like a V-7, for the 5-7. And the song goes like this. extra parts, but you don't have to play those extra parts. You can also change the words on the last line. So it says, love somebody, but I won't tell who. You could say, love somebody and I love you. Or you could say, love somebody and it is you. Whatever you want to do there to make it be for the person you're going to play it for, for Valentine's Day. Love somebody, yes I do. Key of C.